Hey guys! Now all I do is changing videos, but I swear I'm gonna do something different <laughs> eventually. <laughs> but um, I wanted to actually make it in time for Theme Thursday for once. <laughs> and um, this Theme Thursday is raining cats and dogs, which is funny because it's raining here right now. <laughs> so I have Apple here, and I'm going to change him into this sleeper. It's Carter's newborn, it has a little puppy on it. And it has little puppies on the feet. Um, so yeah, I hope my lighting's okay because I don't have very good lighting where it's um, raining out. Also, I'm going on only a couple hours of sleep right now. It's, gosh, what time is it? It's 11 o'clock in the morning. And I went to bed at about 4.30 <laughs> because um, I was working on a bunch of sewing projects last night. But I still got more to do. I gotta go get some thread because I want to start making um, my own custom bodies. So I need some flesh colored thread to do that. Is this the only onesie he has on? Yeah. Mm. It's big if I should just leave it on. No, I'll take it off. It's dark colored. I don't want to leave it on him for too long. You can see his cute little diaper that I made. I made that one quite a while ago. I'll take his hat off. Now this outfit is so stinking cute. He's worn it a couple of times. Because he's crab apple. So I guess I can also talk about the personality tag because I know um, one of my friends requested that I talk about his personality. <clears throat> So, Apple being a sleeping baby, um, he would be, you know, calm and sleeping a lot of the time, but I feel like when, um, he'd be awake, he would be crabby. He'd be a crab apple. <laughs> that he'd be kind of fussy and stuff like He would be the most content and the most happy when he's asleep, but when he's awake, he wouldn't be very happy at all, <laughs> if that makes any sense. A little sad. It looks like the ends of his fingers are changing colors. Oh. I've had him for quite a while and I'm not his first mommy, so it's to be expected, I guess. It's putting some socks on him before I put the sleeper on. Gosh, I hope it fits him. He's he's like a perfect newborn size, so if it's, you know, this is Carter's newborn, so if it like shrinks too much, it's not going to fit him. So hopefully it does. Um, but, um, the cloth diapers that I make, if anybody's interested in in buying any, I'll make them uh, custom for you. You can pick out the fabric and I'll help you figure out what size your baby would take and all that stuff. Just uh, let me know. You can comment on this video or you can go find me on Instagram, MZ's Reborns, and send me a DM. <coughs> My pricing is very reasonable, very affordable. Like, I'll give you discounts if you buy multiple. Shipping outside the US is going to be expensive, but. I'll see what I can do to help you if you're outside the U.S. and you're interested. Um, I'd at least, you know, like to make back my supplies cost and a little bit of profit. <laughs> but I understand that most people don't have a whole lot of money right now from what I understand. Oh yeah, this fits in just fine. I feel weird not having a onesie on him. <laughs> I don't really want to leave that dark one, especially if his fingers are changing colors. I gotta do his hair. It's a mess because he's had that hat on for so long. Of course, my nose will start running when I start making a video. Oh. I'm going to put some of this coconut oil in his hair. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Gosh, I just had like a mini heart attack. Um, 
I've been using my front facing camera on my phone to film. There's like a five things here. And this time I'm trying the regular camera on the back of the phone. So I can't easily see what I'm doing right now. And then where he's got some directionally rooted hair, I, I prefer to use a toothbrush to brush his hair because then I can style it a lot easier. You know, it's a lot more precise than a big old brush. You gotta make sure you get like a soft bristle toothbrush if you do this. Oh, I think his hair needs to be washed or something. It's like it's getting yucky and like super frizzy. It needs to be conditioned, I think. Um, I was thinking about making a video um, washing one of my baby's hair if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing or I'll just do it off camera I mean I do it off camera all the time but if it's something that would be helpful that you guys would like to see I mean I'm no expert like I'm sure there's probably other ways to do it maybe better ways maybe the way I do it is wrong but um, I mean I have more experience washing wigs than washing rooted hair actually because my first baby with hair, well, no, she had, she had rooted hair, my first baby did, but when I got Adrian, my little vampire, he's got, um, a wig, and it was, like, a total matted up mess, and I think it's a mohair wig, because the hair's, like, really soft, it doesn't feel synthetic, and he was really cheap, so I can't imagine that it was human hair, so it must be, like, mohair or something, but I had to do a lot of research on how to take care of the hair so I could get it unmatted because I didn't want to have to replace his wig because I don't even know how to begin to <laughs> take that off like I did a lot of washing and brushing and stuff for that hair and he lost some like some of it came out of the wig but the wig cap hasn't even come loose from his head at all it's like it's really on there so I gotta wash well it looks like I need to wash Apple's hair but since I just put coconut oil in, I probably won't for a little bit. But I do need to wash Adrian's hair, probably. It's been a while. It's probably got some dust in it. His wig. And I need to wash and condition Bexley's hair. So I can I can film that. If it would be helpful, if people want to see that. I don't know. His hair. Oh, He needs, like, a good wash and condition of his hair. Poor Bob. <laughs> All right, it's all it's all frizzy and fluffy looking. Anyway, let's bring you up close, get a better look. And now this time I can see what I'm doing. So here he is. No, oh, Apple Sky is his middle name. His sleeper with a little puppy and the little puppy feet. So yeah, um, thanks for watching guys, and let me know if that hair washing and conditioning video would be helpful.